Welcome back to the Compliance Kitchen. I am looking at a recent DOJ press release. Uh, they sentenced a Chinese national living in the U.S. Um, for illegal exports of uh, technology that can be also used in military applications. So I thought we could take a closer look at what happened there. So this is a September 9 uh, DOJ release. They are telling us that uh, the Chinese national Shuren Kin, or just Kin, for our purposes, uh, was residing in the U.S. and uh, was guilty of illegal exports of hydrophones uh, from the U.S. to Northwestern Polytechnical University, or NWPU, in China. Uh, according to the DOJ, uh, this university is a Chinese military university heavily involved in military research and it works closely with the people's liberation army or PL pli i mean pla sorry on the advancement of its military capabilities so the university has been involved in the development of unmanned aerial vehicles autonomous underwater vehicles and missile proliferation projects and has been on the commerce department's entity list uh, so they, they were listed in 2001 for national security reasons. So the press release tells us that uh, Mr. Kin uh, established a uh, company, Link Ocean Technologies LTD, which he used to import goods and technology with underwater and marine applications into the PRC uh, from the US, Canada, and also from Europe uh, without obtaining export licenses uh, in the U.S. that would be from the Commerce Department. Uh, Ken and Link Ocean concealed from the U.S. manufacturer of the hydrophones. So hydrophones are devices that are used to detect and monitor sound underwater. Uh, and so he uh, concealed from the manufacturer of these devices that the Chinese University and WPU was the actual end user and also caused false end user information to be filed with the US government. Uh, Mr. Kin also transferred more than $100,000 from Chinese bank accounts to US bank accounts uh, with the intent to promote and facilitate uh, these uh, export schemes. Uh, he also falsely stated to the customs uh, officers that he only exported instruments that attached to a buoy, when in reality he exported and caused exports of remotely operated side scan sonar systems, unmanned underwater vehicles, unmanned surface vehicles, robotic boats, and of course the hydrophones. Uh, the items that he concealed from customs have military applications and several were delivered to military end users in China. Uh, the DOJ also tells us that in the release um, that Mr. Kin was sentenced to two years in prison, followed uh, by two years of supervised release, uh, was ordered to pay a fine of $20,000 and will face deportation proceedings uh, once he completes his sentence. Uh, the DOJ also tells us that he pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to unlawfully export items from the U.S. to uh, NWPU, which is the Chinese military university, without first obtaining uh, necessary export licenses. He also uh, pleaded guilty to one count of visa fraud, uh, being that he is a Chinese national. Uh, two counts of making false statements to law enforcement uh, agents in regards to his customers and the types of parts that he exported uh, from the U.S. to uh, China, and or also four counts of money laundering, uh, two counts of smuggling hydrophones from the U.S. to China. So again, this is a summary, uh, and I, I have the DOJ release uh, for you guys. I have a link to that on compliancekitchen.com if this is uh, an enforcement action that you want to take a closer look at. Uh, maybe you consider using it in your uh, compliance training, for example. Okay, well, uh, as always, thanks for stopping by in the Compliance Kitchen. <music>